Hello everybody and welcome to Money's Worth. Today we look at the early access of Dungeon Inn with a base price of 12 euros and 79 cents. So I set out to play it for 13 hours. I didn't finish all of the 13 hours, but I will talk about that later in the video. Let's take a look at the gameplay and content and then I will give my opinion of the game. Let's go. In this game, you play as an innkeeper that made a deal with the dragon to spare your life. You have to manage an inn to gain as much gold as possible for the dragon. The problem is that you are in between two opposing guilds, so you must ensure that they do not find out that you house both of them at the same time to gain as much money as possible. Guild members from the seaside and mountain guild will come towards the dungeon. You have to catch their attention so they will stay at your inn and pay your coins. To start off, you have four different methods to manipulate the oncoming members. The signboard makes guild members who step on it visit your inn. The food stall reduces the guild members' movement counter by one. The energy drink increase the guild members movement counter by two. The lucky wheel stalls all oncoming guild members for two turns. All of them last for two turns and then they have a recharge timer. Later on there are a few more options to manipulate the oncoming guild members, but I won't spoil that. At first you're in a space for four members from each guild. Each day has four turns and there are five days in a week. Guests will stay until the end of each day. If the inn is full, members will pass by. If members of opposing guilds go into the inn at the same time, they will fight. They each have a number indicating their attack and health points. You can also manipulate who will have a higher chance of winning. The winning side will add suspicion to their faction. If the suspicion meter fills up, you will lose and have to start over. Events pop up every now and then from guild members interacting with your inn, and you get some options to choose from, having different costs and different rewards. Each week has a set of goals. These goals can be getting a certain amount of visitors from each guild or getting a full house without someone getting turned away. There are mandatory goals and sometimes an optional goal giving more rewards. Completing a goal gives you tokens. Tokens are used to expand the inn. You can add and upgrade rooms with special properties. Dragon tokens are earned each month for completing the contract with the dragon. They can be used for certain upgrades for the inn. Gameplay seems simple and straightforward. Let's take a look at how much content Dungeon Inn has to offer. If you like my review, consider hitting that subscribe button to get notified of my new videos. Thank you. The game consists of 16 weeks. In these 16 weeks, you follow a storyline where you meet new characters and new challenges. There are only two difficulties. Casual and Courageous. Casual is as it says, and it took me about 2-3 to three hours to get through. In Casual, there is room for mistakes and you don't have to take it too seriously. After finishing the Casual mode, I tried Courageous, and after 3 hours I gave up since I was stuck at week 7. I didn't complete the optional task in the first weeks, and I think I was behind on expanding my inn. I didn't feel like going back to week 1 and trying over and over again to get all the optional tasks. I have enough tokens to expand the inn more. The content is limited to a short campaign with two difficulties. Let's take a look at my ratings of Dungeon Inn. Gameplay in Dungeon Inn is pretty simple. There are not a lot of options to manipulate the board and I start getting bored pretty quickly since I felt like you just repeated the same things over and over again. There could be a bit more options to choose from, but the gameplay works as intended and I encountered no box at all. I rate the gameplay a 3 out of 5. The 16 week campaign is very short in my opinion. The story was not that entertaining and could not catch my attention most of the time. There seems to be some tweaking to do with the difficulties, since it seems like you can get stuck if you don't hit the optional goals. Or maybe I'm just a noob, most likely the last. For now, I'm not impressed with the amount of content. I rate the content a 2 out of 5. Dungeon Inn is at the high end of cheap games with a price of 12 euros and 79 cents. The gameplay works as intended, but got a little boring quite fast since it felt like rinse and repeat. I know the game is in early access, but there has to be a lot of change for me to play the full release. I hope they will add more weeks on their way to the full release of the game, since the 16 week campaign fell short for the price of the game. I rate the money's worth a 2 out of 5. I hope you found out if Dungeon Inn could be your money's worth. You can look through my other videos to see if you can find games that will be your money's worth. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.